Hello class, Professor Anderson here. Let's talk about uh, rotational motion and specifically we're going to talk about non-uniform rotational motion. So when we talked about uniform rotational motion, what we said was if you're moving in a circle at constant speed, then that is uniform circular motion. But if you are accelerating as you go around in a circle, then it's what we call non-uniform circular motion. And let's see if we can understand what happens in that case. So let's go back to our picture for the motion in a circle. If we think about the radius of the circle R and we rotate through an angle theta, then how far have we gone? We've gone a distance s, and what we know is s, that distance, the arc length, is just equal to r times theta, okay? Now, if you go a distance s, and you do it in some amount of time, then your speed, v, is just equal to delta s over delta, sorry, delta t, okay? And this would be something like your average speed, okay? If you want to write this out properly using calculus, what you can say is the speed v is the derivative of ds dt, but we know exactly what s is. S is equal to R theta. And if I take the derivative of R theta, R doesn't change. I can pull that out of the derivative. But theta is changing. And so we can write it like that. But R times d theta dt, what's d theta dt? d theta dt is omega. So V equals R omega. Now, you can do this with deltas the same way. You think, okay, delta of s, but delta of r theta over delta t means the change in r theta. r doesn't change, only theta changes. So this is r delta theta over delta t. But we know what delta theta over delta t is. It is omega. Okay, so we get the same thing. In this case, it's specifically omega bar, but in general, we can always write speed is equal to r times omega. Now, a lot of times people have trouble remembering this. How do I know it's omega times r? It's not omega divided by r, and the way to understand that is just to look at the units. On the left side, we have V. We know V has to have units of meters per second. Omega is radians per second, but radians are unitless, and so it's one over seconds. So the only way to get R into here is if I multiply. I'll put it like that, M over one. So we end up with meters per second. And that's how you can be sure that V equals R times omega is the correct formula. You just look at the units. Okay, so this thing right here, V, is called the tangential speed. Okay, how fast are you actually going around that circle? Now, let's say as you move around the circle, you are actually going faster and faster, okay? So if you are driving your car in a circle and now you step on the gas, you are increasing your speed as you go around this circle. Well, increasing speed means we must have some acceleration. And in this case, we're talking about tangential acceleration. 
Okay, tangential acceleration means tangent to the circle. What is tangential acceleration? Well, it is just the change in the speed divided by the amount of time it took to do that. And we know now what V is, right? V is equal to R omega. R doesn't change. R is the radius of the circle. That doesn't change. So we can rewrite this as R delta omega over delta T. And delta omega over delta T is our angular acceleration. So how does tangential acceleration relate to angular acceleration? It's this relationship right here. And once again, you can think of the units to figure out where that R goes because alpha is one over second squared. We know that A is meters per second squared. So clearly I have to multiply here by meters to get to the right units. Now, if you understand calculus, you can replace these deltas with derivatives and we can get essentially the same thing, right? A t is equal to dv dt, which is dr omega dt. R doesn't change, so it becomes r d omega dt, and that's equal to r times alpha. Okay, so same concept, just looking at instantaneous versus average, derivatives versus deltas, and so forth. And this is the tangential acceleration. AT is equal to R times alpha. Now, how does that relate to our centripetal acceleration? 